And the headlines this morning, fire crews still on the scene of the old market fire. They battle the heat and those frigid temperatures will have live team coverage. People are devastated, extremely devastated. I mean, the old market is the jewel of Omaha, as everybody knows. And, and you can build a lot of things today, but you can't build 100-year-old buildings and, and a business that's been, everybody knows him as pub. People who work and live the old market react to the changing landscape they've always known. And the president visits Omaha this week, but today is a day you can get tickets. We'll tell you how you can get them for free. Live from 7 Burlington Station, this is Omaha's news leader, KETV Newswatch 7 First News Sunday. Good morning. Coming up on 8 o'clock on Sunday, January 10th, I'm John Oki in for Alexandra Stone, Amanda Crawford leading our team coverage downtown. Of course, that's what that explosion partially collapsed at historic building. More on that in a moment, though. First, KETV Weather Now meteorologist Alex Lisi is here. Yes, and unfortunately, those uh, fire men and women had to work in very cold no, temperatures. It's still chilly right now, and the wind's still pretty breezy. Right now, wind speed 6 mile an hour in Columbus to Fremont to Omaha, and right now, 8 mile an hour winds in Harlan, and it's very chilly outside. Right now, it's minus 4 degrees in Omaha, so when you factor that in with those wind speeds, we get to minus 16, it feels like, minus 21 Fremont. Good morning, Takema. You're waking up minus 19, feels like. So if you're making plans for today and you're about to head out the door, get those hand warmers started and be sure to keep that coat with you throughout the morning. We have a wind chill advisory until 10 in the morning for everyone that can hear us. Even if you don't have that wind chill advisory, you're going to want to stay bundled up because it's still really chilly to our south and our east. Now, right now, negative four. We'll warm up a couple degrees to 6 o'clock by noontime, warming up to 12 by 3 o'clock. But nice sunny skies and clear. After midnight tonight, that's when we'll start to see a little more cloud cover working in. But our overnight low will drop down to 10 degrees. But tomorrow, look at that, not too bad. Back up to 30 degrees with a slight chance of flurries late Monday into Tuesday. John? It sounded like a, a breaking the sound barrier to off it or something. That's what it kind of sounded like. But, uh... They just heard a big boom and we didn't see it and then everybody running out. All right now the sun rising on a frozen and devastated downtown Omaha. An explosion at a popular restaurant in the old market rocks the neighborhood, caused the historic downtown building to partially collapse. Crews not only battling those flames extreme heat, but the day's extreme cold as well. Take a live look at the scene. This is near 11th and Howard. That building actually still smoldering this morning. Here's what happened starting around 2:45. Saturday afternoon, several people reported hearing or feeling an explosion that rocked the M's Pub restaurant in the Old Market. Flames could be seen shooting from the basement access area at the front of the restaurant near the patio. One person was hospitalized. Others scrambled to safety. A manager at the restaurant telling us that crews working to install fiber optic cable may have ruptured the gas line. The fire continued to rage into the evening, eventually making it to the roof of the building nearly four hours later. By 10 p.m., fire crews reported a partial collapse inside, fearing the entire building might come down. We have live team coverage coming your way all morning. KETV News Watch Summons Amanda Crawford and Camilla Ortiz both standing by live for us downtown to bring us the latest. Camilla will have more on just what this fire means for neighbors and businesses downtown. First, though, Amanda Crawford leading our live team coverage this morning with the latest. Amanda. And John, you can smell the smoke still here in the old market. Take a look behind me. Very active scene this morning. The firefighters are still here monitoring this building. And look over here, that building, that historic building at 11th and Howard, still standing this morning despite this devastating damage. The windows busted out. You can see charred edges. Firefighters are still spraying water on it. The roof is gone. You can see the ice on the outside of that building is just an indicator of how cold and how frigid it is out here, the conditions these firefighters have been dealing with. Now, let's show you some video from yesterday. You can see the flames coming out of this building that houses M's Pub at 11th and Howard. One person was seriously hurt. We talked to people who described that after that explosion, they saw loved ones running to find each other and to get to safety. There were people that were running and families that were trying to hook up and get everybody out of the out of the area, and um, it was uh, uh, was a little disturbing. But um, I knew I was safe over here. 
Again, people's homes destroyed. What's left of Ems Pub, you saw behind me that incredible damage. But Omahans are really coming together this morning. Upstream is serving coffee to these exhausted firefighters. They're going to serve them breakfast here in just a little bit. A lot of people are coming in to take pictures and tell me their stories. We're going to find out more and continue to bring you updates this morning. John. Okay. Amanda, thank you. Well, now to more on the dangerous work for first responders. KTV News Watch 7's Camilla Ortiz continues our live team coverage. Camilla. Well, Amanda showed you the building, but let's take one more look from our angle here. We're kind of looking at it from the opposite side, closer to Harney Street. It's just unbelievable. Now that the sun has come out, you can see the layers and layers of icicles on this building, on the lampposts, on cars parked beneath the building. I mean, all around it, it's just a sheet of ice. And we're going to kind of zoom up here to a window in the adjacent building. We notice firefighters are now working in that building inside next door to check on hot spots there. So again, like like we've been mentioning, a very, very active scene for firefighters here right now. But how did this fire get so out of control? Fire Chief Bernie Kanger says the wind pushed flames through the building that housed Ems Pub. The open spaces within the 100 year old building helping the fire spread even more quickly. Temperatures in the single digits forcing crews to rotate about every three hours. They also had to bring in fuel trucks and mechanics to deal with freezing equipment and of course, like we mentioned, had to dig out frozen fire hoses. Steam is another issue, making it hard to even see as water hit those hot spots. And all of this, of course, making for an extremely difficult battle for firefighters. The main thing that's going through my mind is my son's a firefighter and he's working that fire and the conditions are so really hard. I'm concerned for him and the other firemen that are working. Police just put up a fresh round of crime tape here, pushing passers by even further away. A lot of people have been coming up, taking pictures, which is fine, but please make sure you're out of the way of police and firefighters. And of course, that water, that ice that's starting to build all around. We noticed some of it spilling out onto 10th Street near Howard. So please be careful if you're driving or walking around this area this morning. Reporting live, Camilla Orti, KETV News Watch 7. Okay, Camille, thank you. Well, M's Pub, one of the cornerstone businesses in Omaha's Old Market, restaurant opened in 1973, just a few years after developer Sam Mercer launched the Old Market concept. The building housing M's Pub, built in 1900. Old Market, the hub of wholesale and distribution businesses for 80 years before its transformation into the entertainment district it is today. We're hearing more from those who work in the Old Market, many of whom say the businesses down there are a tight community. I'm just really devastated. I'm very sad to see this happen to my friends, Susan and Debbie and I, we get there together every Christmas and have wine, sit at the bar and have wine. It's one of the most fabulous places to sit in Omaha and watch the snow fall down and great food too. I mean, it's devastating. It's gone as we know it. It's really emotional. Yeah, it's really emotional. I'm still in shock over it. I mean, this is, you know, M's Pub is a big part of the old market and, you know, we have a lot of friends and we're all neighbors down here, so we, like, try to support each other. And, I mean, I'm just, I'm just in shock still from it. We're going to have more coverage from downtown Omaha throughout the morning right here on First News. Right now on KETV.com as well as our mobile app, the latest on the developing story. We'll keep you updated with the news, new developments. You can also check video and pictures from the scene. Also, follow at KETV on Twitter and on Facebook. We'll be pushing updates from our reporters on scene all morning long to make sure you stay up to date. Also new this morning, a shooting overnight in Omaha sends one man to the hospital. You see the SUV riddled with bullets near 18th and Clark Street. Police said the victim was shot near 20th and Grace around 2.30, then went to a house just blocks away, called for help. No word whether or not they're looking for the shooter. That victim should be okay. We now know more about President Obama's trip to Omaha this week. He'll arrive by Air Force One, scheduled to speak at UNO's Baxter Arena. Tickets to the event are free. It's open to the public. They'll be available starting today at 3 p.m. at these locations. Metro Community College's Fort Omaha campus inside FOC number 21, UNO's Baxter Arena, and the Salvation Army Croc Center at 28th and Y. They'll keep handing out those tickets Monday and Tuesday until the event is full. To the Crime Watch, Omaha police identify a man found dead inside a home near 15th and Willis. OPD investigating 54-year-old Derek DeWolf's death as a homicide. The home where they found him had been abandoned for years. Police have not said how DeWolf died, but if you know anything they would like to hear from you, call Crime Stoppers at 402-444-STOP. 
And take a look at this. Overnight, lottery officials announced that no one matched all the numbers for the record $900 million Powerball jackpot. Jackpot now going up to at least $1.3 billion. It's the first time in lottery history the prize will surpass the $1 billion mark. Saturday's winning numbers, 16, 19, 32, 34, 57. The Powerball, 13. It's 808. Next, events to plan your day and another update from downtown Omaha. Plus, one final wish. Bed written for years. Doctors say he might not have much longer to live. His wish to see a box office smash coming up. First, your morning weather update. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Get your hand warmers ready because we have a wind chill advisory until 10 in the morning. I'll let you know how much longer we stay below zero. You're watching Omaha's News Leader, KETV News Watch 7 with Amanda Crawford, Alexandra Stone. Your Weather Now forecast with meteorologist Alex Alisi. Live from 7 Burlington Station, this is KETV News Watch 7 First News Sunday.